Hi guys, it's Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot. This is a review and par test of the Timber Grow Lights Model 2VL. The 2VL is the smallest light in the Vero 29 V7 series. All of the Vero 29 V7 series lights use Bridge Lux Vero 29 V7 cobs. The other two series that Timber offers include the Cree CXB 3590 line and the Citizen CLU 048 line. They recently added quantum board fixtures to their mix as well. The 2VL fixture is best for covering small spaces, acting as a supplementary light, or growing in medium-sized spaces on a budget. So let's dive in a little bit deeper into the specs on this high-quality fixture. The 2VL, like all of Timber's other lights, except for the Quantum Board series, use two high-quality Vero 29 V7 cobs, large green pinned heat sinks, and efficient Meanwell drivers that will accept 110 or 240 volt power. The fixtures come with a potentiometer that is dimmable down to 10% light intensity. All of the components are held together by a sturdy aluminum frame. The 2VL fixture measures 21 inches by 8.5 inches by 4 inches and it weighs 9.2 pounds. The unit is powered through a detachable 3-prong 10-foot 120 volt power cord. Overall, the 2VL is a compact fixture that throws out a surprising amount of light for its size. The 2VL is designed to replace about a 400 watt metal halide or HPS grow light. The Timber 2VL is rated for 110 to 240 volt AC power. It draws about 200 watts at the wall and 1.7 amps at 120 volts, and around 0.85 amps at 240 volts. When the potentiometer is turned all the way down, the 2VL draws about 26 watts and 0.24 amps at 120 volts. The two Bridgelux cobs are each backed by two large pinned heat sinks to assist in drawing the heat off the cobs to extend their lifetime and keep their efficiency consistent. The PPF is reported by Timber Grow Lights as 466 micromoles per second. The PAR efficacy of the unit is estimated at 2.3 micromoles per joule. We estimated this by dividing the PPF, which is 466 micromoles per joule, by the wattage draw, which is 200 watts. 2.3 micromoles per joule is pretty darn good since an efficacy of over 2.0 micromoles per joule is considered very efficient and is almost a standard for LED grow lights these days. The Timber 2VL is available in four full spectrum white light options, 1750K, 3000K, 3500K, and 4000K. 3000K is the most popular option and is ideal for seedling to harvest growth. 4000K is best for veg, but can be used for seedling to harvest growth as well. 3500K is also a good spectrum option for full cycle growth. 1750K is the least common option and is recommended for flowering only. In general, the more red in the spectrum, the higher the yields, but the more stretch during veg. Higher blue in the spectrum is best for increasing quality during flower, but can lead to slightly smaller yields. Higher blue content can also keep plants squattier during veg. The flower footprint of this fixture is recommended for up to 5 square feet at 18 inches above the canopy. This is slightly smaller than a 2x3 area, however I would be comfortable using it in a 2x3 area based off of its PAR readings which we'll see soon. The veg footprint is recommended for a 3x4 area at 24 inches from the canopy. I tested the PPFD of this fixture in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent. However, the area measured was around a 2x4 rectangle directly underneath the fixture. As always, keep in mind that the reflective nature of this tent could increase PAR readings everywhere. Let's see those PPFD readings now. I'm going to test the PPFD at 36 inches above the bottom of the tent, so this would be an ideal height for veg. So about 300 right in the center. Now I'm going to follow about a 2x4 area rectangle in the tent. Uh, 175, 180 on the corners and edges, so it's pretty decent at that height for this light. Back towards the center. And just for kicks, I'm going to measure the par all the way at the end of the tent. Again, this is a 4x4 four four tent, so getting 192. So for 200 watts, this is pretty good coverage at this height. 
The next measurement is going to be at 24 inches above the bottom of the tent. So we're at 600 PPFD right in the center. So now we're starting to get into flowering territory as far as PPFD goes. Notice the intensity is higher in the middle, but lower on the sides because the unit is closer to the bottom of the tent. So you probably wouldn't want to use this in a two by four area at 24 inches above the canopy, just because we're getting some low numbers on the edges. But as you get closer to the light, of course, those numbers are going to go up. And then all the way to the back, just for kicks, about 200 PPFD. And the final measurement is going to be taken 18 inches above the bottom of the tent. So just under 1000 PPFD right in the center. So this is the ideal flowering height for this fixture. <clears throat> now I'm going to move it all the way to the end of the tent in the two x four area and notice that these numbers drop down really low on the sides. So you don't want to use it in a two x four area. I just wanted to show you what this would look like in a two x four area. Back towards the center. So getting some really good numbers in here. All right, so if you use this in about a two by three area, here's what your numbers would look like. So on the edge, you'd be hitting about 300 PPFD. And then just wanna show you what that last uh, edge looked like. And then moving it closer to the light. You can see how you don't really want to move it closer than 18 inches because those numbers really start to climb fast and you could burn your plants if it's too close. So this fixture is recommended at about a two by three footprint, possibly a little bit smaller if you want to get more intensity, but I would be comfortable using it in a two by three. In the rare case that you have a problem with your fixture, the Timber 2VL fixture comes with a three year manufacturer's warranty on all components. The lights are built to order and assembled in San Diego, California, United States. The MSRP on the Timber 2VL is only $299. This is one of the brands that cannot be shipped for free in the lower 48 states, so expect about a $15 to $25 shipping charge for this unit. Overall, the Timber 2VL is an excellent light for a small grow or supplementary lighting due to its very high quality parts, high light output, and high efficiency. If you want to learn more or purchase the Timber 2VL LED grow light, view the link in the description. And don't forget to give this video a like. If you like this video and want more content like this, subscribe to our channel in the upper left of the screen. Happy growing!